Hi everyone, this is Gail with Pretty Presets and today I just wanted to show you how to install your presets into Adobe Camera Raw, which is part of the Photoshop group of products. So before we go any further, um, I want to let you know that your presets may already be installed in Adobe Camera Raw and you may not actually have to even do this step. A really quick way to figure out if your presets are already installed in Photoshop's Adobe Camera Raw is to open an image in Photoshop and if the image doesn't open in Camera Raw then just come up here to filter and click on Camera Raw filter and this will open your image in Adobe Camera Raw. So now if I just click on all the way over here where I have these three lines and they've each got a dot inside that's the preset icon for Adobe Camera Raw I'm gonna click on that and this will tell you what presets you have installed in Adobe Camera Raw. Now, for a lot of you, if you're installing presets into Lightroom Classic and you have the Creative Cloud plan, then you're installing XMP files or your presets have been converted to XMP files. So they may already be over here and you don't even have to do this step. So just a little trick, if you are not seeing your presets there, then follow along with the rest of this tutorial and we will help you get them there. So I'm gonna minimize my Photoshop here and I'm gonna come over to my Finder window. Now I'm on a Mac, but the steps are very similar on a PC. So I'm gonna tell you where the differences are going to be on a PC. Unzipping is going to be the same. So if you have downloaded your presets and they're in a zipped File, you're going to double click on them if you're on a Mac and that's going to unzip. If you're on a Windows, you're going to right click and choose Extract All. And that's going to give you a folder that looks something like this. This is the Dark and Moody collection. So I'm going to open this up and I am looking for the XMP files inside. That's the folder that I need to find. So this middle one, it has the XMP words here. So this is most likely my XMP files. It is. This is gonna be my LR template files and these are gonna be my mobile files, my DNG files. So I'm gonna click on this and I'm gonna click Command or Control C to copy it. And then I am going to open up a new window, new finder window here. And I am going to try to find my library now, this step you don't need to do. If you're on a Windows machine, just skip this step for a second. I'm gonna come up here to Go. I'm gonna click on Go, and my library is not showing up here. It's typically a hidden folder. So I'm going to click here, and I'm going to press down the Alt key, and notice my library folder shows up. So I'm gonna click on Library, and it's gonna take me directly to my library here. If you are on a Windows computer then you're going to need to just open up an Explorer window and in the search bar search for application data that is the folder that you're looking for so click enter find the application data folder which of course I'm not going to have and then double click on it if you're on a Mac you're going to click on this application support all the steps after this should be the same. Now I'm going to double click on Adobe. I'm gonna come down here and find Camera Raw. And then I'm going to find Settings. And here is where I'm going to copy and paste the folder. So I would just do Command V or Control V and that will paste the folder of presets inside here. And that's all you've done. You've installed your presets into Adobe Camera Raw. So now I can open up Photoshop again and I should be able to go the same place, go up to filter, click on Camera Raw filter. It will open my image in Camera Raw. Now if you don't have an image open here, it won't give you that option. So just make sure you've opened that you have an image or a JPEG file or any kind of file there and then come over to the presets tab and scroll down and you should be able to find your dark and moody presets that you have installed right over here. To apply them, you can see I'm just hovering over them and it's changing to apply them. I just click on which one I would like to apply 
And when I'm finished, I click OK, and it will open up that image with that edit into Photoshop. Awesome. I hope this helps you know how to find, to use, and to install your presets into Photoshop's Adobe Camera Raw.